What's good, YouTube? All right, so I just watched the Rockets and uh, eat game. Rockets won. But this video is about my thoughts on LeBron 61 point game. Now, yes, he beasted. Yes, he's the best player in the world right now. Um, on ESPN first take, they brought up a question, and that question was, "What was more impressive?" Kobe Bryant's 81 point game or LeBron's 61 point game. How can you even put that in the same, like, alright, so how many players have dropped 60 points or more in the past? You got Jordan dropped 69, Kobe dropped a 60 point game against the Knicks in Madison Square Garden, he dropped the 81 point game, Wilt Chamberlain had a 100 point game. David Robinson had the 77, I believe it was, with the Spurs, 77-point game. Camilo Anthony, just a few weeks ago, dropped 60. So, I guess 60 points is starting to become at least a once-a-year thing in the NBA. So, how, my question is, how can you put LeBron's 61-point game in the same conversation as Kobe Bryant's 81-point game? In my mind, it's not even close. Kobe's 81-point game is the second-best performance in NBA history behind Wilt Chamberlain's 100. All right? Yes, LeBron was 8 for 10 from three-point range. Yes, he was 22 for 33 from the field. But when you look back at Kobe Bryant's 81-point game, the Lakers were losing. They were losing pretty bad to the Toronto Raptors. Now, the Lakers didn't have shit that year. I mean, Luke Walton was in our starting lineup. There you go. That says it all right there. But when you look at the players we had, we had nobody. Lamar Odom was in the starting lineup. Um, Luke Walton, Sasha Boychik. I mean, we had mediocre players. So we were down. I forget how much the Lakers were down in that game, but I, it was close to 20 points. Kobe Bryant had 62 points by the end of the third quarter. 62 points. And he put the team on his back to win us the game. LeBron decided for this game, you know what? I'm on fire, just give me the goddamn ball. That's how Kobe plays. LeBron can play that when he wants to. Yes, LeBron's an all-around player, but so is Kobe Bryant. And you can't even tell me that Kobe Bryant's not an all-around player because he's going to be the – He actually, he is the first player – with 30,000 plus points, 6,000 plus rebounds, and 6,000 plus assists throughout his career. Kobe Bryant was always an all-around player, 12-time first defensive team, whatever. So to answer the ESPN takes for our question on what was more impressive, Kobe's 81 or LeBron 61, to me, and obviously, like, you guys will probably say I'm being biased about this, but I'm not. It's like... How can you even look at an 81-point game and say that it's not better than a 61-point game? And looking back at what Kobe Bryant had to do in order for the Lakers to win that game, he put the team on his back and he won us a game. Now, I don't know his exact stat, so I'm going to go on Google to see what Kobe Bryant shot from the field of that game um, and compare it to LeBron's. 22 from 33. I know Kobe shot a hell of a lot more shots than that, but um, let me see this. <clears throat> All right. All right, so let's see here. Kobe Bryant, he was 28 for 46. So, really impressive. Three point range, 7 for 13. Free throws, 18 out of 20. 18 free throws made. Let's see, he had six rebounds and obviously only two assists because, I mean, that second highest score on the Laker was Smush Parker with 13 points. Um, so when you look at LeBron's stats, what do you have in his game? I think around the same number of rebounds, five assists, I think, or something like that. So to me, there's no question here. Kobe Bryant's stats. Now, I'm going to put the link in the description. 
to those who, of you who want to see the stats of that 81 point game. Kobe Bryant, as I just said, he was 28 from 46 from the field, 7 for 13 from three point range, and 18 out of 20 from the free throw line. And a, end of question, first take, you got it all wrong. I actually didn't even watch it. Like, I don't know who said that LeBron had a better game than, than Kobe or was more impressive than Kobe, whatever. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, big time Kobe fan, big time Lakers fan. I'm, of course, going to say Kobe Bryant's 81 point game was more impressive, but honestly, I don't know who can't. So I'm out. There's, 